Hello everyone, welcome to Lolly Queen Zone. I am Lolly. We are discussing breast cancer. So I'll talk about what breast cancer is, some of the signs and symptoms, the investigations and then the treatment options available. Just as every tissue, the breast is also made up of millions of cells. And then if these cells be, uh, start to become abnormal and grow excessively than their normal rate, then they are termed as breast cancer. Or is the abnormal overgrowth of cells that make up the breast. It's the most common um, cancer in women. Previously, it was found in older people, but currently, people as young as 30 years also get it. Though it affects uh, women mostly, but men can also get breast cancer. White people are prone to breast cancer, but then the blacks get the most severe form of the disease. What are some of the risk factors of breast cancer or the factors that can increase your chances of getting breast cancer? Obesity, age, alcoholism, hormonal replacement therapy, having children too late or not at all, previous history of endometrium and ovarian cancer, family history, and birth control pills. Birth control pills like Posno 2 and the rest have higher levels of um, estrogen and this is what can increase your odds of getting breast cancer and other cancers after prolonged and continuous use. In pregnancy, um, estrogen levels um, reduce so it kind of produces text against breast cancer so not having children at all having children late or even having me your menses very early or um having menopause very late it means you are being exposed to more estrogen so if you are exposed to more estrogen levels then it means you are likely to get breast cancer how can i recognize that what i'm feeling may be related to breast cancer there is a presence of a painless breast lump or a painful swelling of the breast there is dumpling on the skin there is um breast skin changes can become reddened there is changes in the areola region you can see that it's not your normal um nipple sometimes it can become inverted it's like it will sink in sort of you can get symptoms of metastasis like shortness of breath headache backache and other symptoms what can i do to detect breast cancer first self breast awareness always checking your breast out in the mirror and looking out for any changes so you have to become aware of your breast so that if there is um any change you may be able to identify it. if you're always looking at your breast checking your breast out you know it and the second thing is self breast examination when you use your fingers to fill um, the whole of your breast leaving no quad uh, quadrant untouched so if you do this quite frequently like once in a month you'll be able to know any changes, you have to know how your normal breast feels like before you can know if you are getting any abnormalities. Annual screening mammogram or ultrasound. Ultrasound usually they would use for um, younger people because their breast has more dense tissue. But for mammogram is for women with 65 years most of the times their 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 breast is more fatty so mammogram is usually what we would encourage them to have instead of their ultrasound adapt a healthy lifestyle avoid smoking drinking eat low fat diets exercise regularly but you have to note that when you are pregnant or during menstruation or during breastfeeding like lactation um there are changes in in your in your breast that's and the self breast awareness you have to be very self conscious of your breast so that you you get to know if there are any changes whatsoever causes of breast pain can be due to breast cysts abscess trauma to the breast previous breast surgery inflammation of the breast breast engorgement during lactation so you have to take note of that
what are the treatment modalities? So depending on the stage and also the age of the woman, um, your doctor will know how to treat you. But some of the treatment options available is, is surgical, that's mastectomy, um, that's removal of the the whole breast, and you have a uh, lumpectomy, that's removal of, of the small uh, shoe of a lamb. So if your the, the cancer hasn't become so big, they can remove just that part. And if it's that big, they would have to remove the whole breast. And another option is chemotherapy and then radiation. So depending on your age and then the stage of the cancer, these are the treatment options. Sometimes they, co they can combine all these three. I hope you enjoy your day and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, any suggestions, you can let me know in the comment section and I will gladly respond to you. I love you so much. Take care.